There are a few people who have become the subject of rife speculation regarding their potential identity as the elusive Satoshi Nakamoto, one of them being the late Len Sassaman. Here's why. Leonard Harris Sassaman, affectionately known as Len Sassaman, was born on April 9, 1980, in Pennsylvania. Len Sassaman was one of the original cypherpunks and a strong advocate for digital privacy, having made significant contributions to cryptography during his life. From a young age, he's shown a keen interest and knack for technology. At just 18 years old, Sassaman was part of the Internet Engineering Task Force, or IETF, which is a global community that develops open standards for the Internet. There, he was responsible for the development of the TCP IP protocol, a fundamental framework for the internet. Later on, he went to pursue a PhD at Katholieke Universiteit Lofen in Belgium. There he joined the Computer Security and Industrial Cryptography Research Group, where he was mentored by Bart Prenel and David Chom, who is widely referred to as the father of digital currency. Sassaman's career was full of accomplishments as he went further down the rabbit hole of the cypherpunk movement. He worked on the development of the Pretty Good Privacy Encryption software under Phil Zimmerman and its update, GNU Privacy Guard. The encryption software is still commonly used today to provide privacy and authentication for data communication. He was also the lead maintainer of the Mixmaster Anonymous Remailer code and the operator of the Rancid Remailer. Both softwares allowed users to maintain their privacy by sending untraceable messages. Outside of the office, he was a member of a non-profit think tank called the SHMU Group, where he joined other security professionals in information security research and development. Sassaman was also active in spearheading several initiatives like CodeCon, an annual conference for tech enthusiasts, the Hot Pets Workshop, which explored new technologies, and co-authoring the Zimmerman Sassaman Key Signing Protocol. His work is said to have laid the groundwork and foundational principles that many technologies use today to prioritize digital privacy. As a teenager, though, Sassaman was diagnosed with depression, which followed him throughout his life. And on July 3rd, 2011, he tragically died by suicide at the age of 31. As a way to honor him, an ASCII art tribute featuring Sassaman's portrait was encoded into block 138,725 of the Bitcoin blockchain by his close friend, Dan Kaminsky. After his passing, people began to speculate that Sassaman could have been Satoshi Nakamoto, the pseudonymous creator of Bitcoin. The theories started to surface as users began to point out pieces of evidence. The first being that Sassaman was active in cryptography during the period leading up to Bitcoin's creation. On top of that, his contributions to cryptography point toward his capabilities of building Bitcoin. The late developer was also known to work with another prominent Satoshi candidate, Hal Finney. Finney was the first person to ever receive Bitcoin when Satoshi himself sent 10 Bitcoin to him. If Sassaman were indeed Satoshi, it's possible that he would choose Finney as the first recipient. And finally, Satoshi Nakamoto's last known message was sent in April 2011, just a few months before Sassaman's passing that year. While speculations have gone on for years, Sassaman's widow, Meredith Patterson, stated in an ex post in 2021 that, to the best of her knowledge, her late husband was not Satoshi Nakamoto. Regardless of whether Len Sassaman was Satoshi Nakamoto or not, there is no doubt that he left a lasting impact on digital privacy and cryptography. His work has laid the groundwork and continues to influence today's technological advancements. If you're interested in learning more about the theory suggesting that Hal Finney was Satoshi instead, check out this video.